Chelsea, I'm real glad that you opened up to me. Because it makes me, like, open up my heart. You know what I'm saying? And, like, share the stuff that's been happening to me. Because I used to be like you. I fell into that world of pretend. And that's where you gotta smarten up. And cut somebody sometimes. You might think that I float. You know? Maybe even walk on water and stuff. But I'm here to tell you that sometimes I drink out of a volcano. I know how to, to deal with the system. I know how to fuck with it. I just gotta ask you, are you willing to accept what I have to teach? I'm ready. Do you want me to show you the way? Show me the path. Can I lead you, please? Lead me. I'm gonna put you in my pocket. Guide me. You're in my hands. When do we start? Right now. Good evening, bitches. 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 If you call me, motherfucker. Oh, you were showing your cunt flowers. Why would you believe any of that? Well, ma'am, the, the gentleman, he can see. The gentleman? Who is the fucking gentleman? Well, ma'am, ma'am, please bring it down a notch. You need to learn proper masturbation skills. I've never been in the shower. I've never done that. God bless you. Morphin time. Morphin time. Lawsuit time. Ugh. Inappropriate. I'll yeah, fucking but- cut you! Well, you we'll- fucking god sucker! I'll call this number again! We're gonna call a uh- Oh, I see the chick in front of my fucking head right now, and I'll fucking put a knife in your fucking throat. Mmm, fuck yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You ain't on Lord Clovis. Tell me, you must have the hell out of another bitch drug. Mm, come ride this mob. Gather it around and make a prank call. Wow. Your fucking wife loves it when I check her meter. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a Kohler faucet right up your ass. Well, if you were doing your job, ma'am, and you would, you would walk into that room right now and pull out his pants and start jerking him off and showing him. Oh, you fucking dick. Did you fucking say that to me? You fucking asshole. Keep it down. So, yeah. Um, first things first, it's the first show of the beginning of the month, which means Patreon's got to have their shout-outs, so we're going to do that first. Uh, these are in alphabetical order, except for a simple life who, uh, who, who tricked the show or tricked the, uh, alphabeticals by going with a, uh, dollar sign for the S instead of just an S. So he's at the top, which Axpa should be very furious with him about. Uh, let's see. So simple life, Axpa, uh, Anthony, I'm just gonna say Anthony cause I didn't like, you know. I don't know, man. I don't want to do your whole name. I don't know if it's an alias or not, so we're just going to do Anthony. Audi Love. I know that one's a different one. Okay. Uh, Ball Bag Jefferson. Uh, we also have Believer for Life. Bingo Bob. Uh, Brown Magic. Bucket of Walnuts. Chris Little. Crispy 808. Who's on the show with us? Yeah. Uh, Dazar. Who, yeah, he, Dazar's here too. Uh, let's see, we've got David J. David J. We have Davey, Default Urine, DZ Jackson, Dragon Mirror, uh, we have Ernie, F in Reality, uh, we have Elver, uh, oh yeah, Elver Gala, Galaga, or Galarga, Galarga, and I was told... Um, let's see. He explained that name. I guess it's a play on words. Um, yeah, right there. He says, a play on words. He says, El Verga Larga, meaning an individual with a long cock. Uh, let's see. Yes. Uh, Eric, uh, well, Eric L, because then we have Eric W after that. Frank Page. I'll fix your pipes. Uh, Jack Heliquin, which we don't see him around anymore, man. He, he dumped off the Facebooks and stuff. He hasn't been around. 
Which we got a little breather because he used to take like my face and Carlito's face and put it on everything. Like even if we didn't want it to. Uh, Jamie F. Jan N. Jason. Jeremy. Uh, Jessica. J Smooth. JT. Jules. Uh, Kun, Kun Ling. Kun Ling. Yeah. Uh, Luis. M Ball. Mad Hatter. Uh, we have Mark W. Max Power. Love that name. Mike S. Didn't Carlito used to use that name a lot? Uh, Mike. I'm going to say your last name because it's awesome. Mike Wiener. Uh, Mr. Steve O. Mr. Puller. Miss Balls Deep Inc. MST3 Clay. Nico. Oh my god, it's trash. Uh, we have P.S. Parkman, Paul. Let me get to the next page. Lo, damn you. Come on, Patreon. I know, you guys don't want the show to start out this way, but I gotta give them props, man. They support the show. Uh, People's Karma Squad, I believe. Yes. Uh, Phone Losers of America. Uh, we have Radical, Radiant Digital, Raymond W, Rumpled Foreskin, Ryan Friday, Sam French, Seven, uh, Sean's Prank Machine, Shy Boy, uh, let's see, I haven't seen Shy Boy around in a bit, uh, S- dude, I don't know how to say this fucking name even if I wanted to, Surgeon, S-I-G-U-R-J-O-N with a bunch of fucking, oh no, that's just my dirty screen, I thought there were symbols above that, <laughs> Snacks, Snappy Bakes, uh, Sonam, we have Travis N, Tyler, Vandershire, Vitas Vitas, V-Taker, Wasted Memory, uh, Xander Fett, and Experts. And those are your Patreons for the month of April. Whew. Good evening, thanks for the whole section material. I'm just speaking out to help you. Hi, how are you? Good, good, how about yourself? Good, good, good. Uh, <laughs> my friend's up here, and he's rolling around on the floor, and I don't know what to do about it. He's rolling around making all kinds of noise. What room are you in? I'm in 215. 215? Okay, I'll send, um... He, he started, I don't know what happened, he saw something on TV... Where they were they were telling this dog like cream or something for itching, and he saw the dog scooting his bottom. Oh my god, there he is again! He was scooting his bottom across the floor, so he started doing it, and now he's scooting his ass across the floor, and it's gross. Hmm. So I, I just need to know what to do about it. You know how I can stop him? Oh yeah, yeah, I don't know anything about that. Hey, hang on a second, he's scooting across the floor. Just stop it! He's gonna know. kick us out. You really fucked me. All right, stop. Um, yeah. Did you He's change li- the channel? Ch- well, I, ch- I tried to change the channel, but I can't find the remote. I can't, I, like, I don't know. Turn off the TV. The T, oh, that's good. I'm going to unplug the TV. Is it behind the, is the plug behind this thing? Where is it? Yeah. Okay, it's I'm, right underneath I'll cut it. <laughs> See, I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know what's wrong with him. Can I send him downstairs? Um... I doubt there's going to be any help here, so I don't know. It's up to you. Well, he keeps sco- you, if you. If you need cleaning done, you can go and you could put a Swiffer wet wipe on his ass and he could scoot across the floors and mop it for you. Hmm. He's gross like that. Do you have cake? No, I don't. You don't have cake? It's the only way to stop him. Hmm. Yes, sir. I'm going to go now, because this, pra- this, prank, call, this okay. prank call isn't working, okay? Hello? Hello? Who's this? Hey, have you been driving around by my house trying to find that stupid bike? I don't even know who the hell you... What are you talking about? Well, you threatened my 12-year-old. He said if he was riding the bike that he was going to go to jail. And I've been seeing some suspicious cars driving around by my house. Paranoid much? 
A little bit. Give okay, well, first and foremost, stop calling me. I have, I have given your number to the officers, and they're handling it. Have a do? great day. Do, do not call my phone again. Shut up. Don't do me not call my phone again. Shut Leave up. me alone. Shut up. You are harassing me. I'm a you are another, harassing me. another bite. Good fucking bye. Hey, don't cuss bye. me. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. You, yep. got, you got the stolen uh, BMWs? Uh, no. Who's this? Uh, you it's got Charles. some information? Yeah, I got some information for you. My name's Charles. Hey, Charles. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Uh, well, the information that I got for you is you need to take the ad down. I don't need people asking me any more questions about where I got this fucking car. Okay. So you, you so you got the car then? I've got the car. Okay. Um, can uh, can you tell me where it's at? I'll give you the reward. No, do you do you think I would trade in this BMW for a thousand dollars? You got to be kidding me! Well, I'll give you fifteen hundred. No, no, I don't want no money. I just want you to take that ad down. Um, so you just want me to take it down, but you don't want to give me the car? No, I'm going to keep the car. I've become rather attached even, to it. Even even though I got the car, you stupid fuck. Hey, even hey, though hey, I, hey, have I didn't curse, I didn't curse at you. Okay, even though I got the stolen car, you, you're you going to try to fucking tell me to take it down? Take it down, yeah. I got the car. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you worried about? I want you to take the ad Why down. Do you want me, why do you want me to take the ad down? I got the car. Because I'm going to steal it. it again tonight. And I want the ad down by the okay. time I do it. Okay, go for it. I'm going to go for it, man. Don't tell me what to do. I'm going to do it. God, peer pressure. Okay. So what's your problem? Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. What you, you're calling? You're calling me, buddy. I, I don't understand. Fucking dick. You know that you're a dick. You're telling me that you have a stolen car and you don't even have it. So who's the I dick have your stolen car, but I'm going to use this one. I got this old beat up Ford Escort, and I'm going to drive it over uh-huh. here, and I'm going to steal your BMW again. Okay. Well, where's the BMW located right now? Uh, right now it's over there at the auto. Auto what? Uh, all over Auto Boulevard. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, it's there. Yeah. Um I, actually well no, actually actually it's not there, but uh but yeah, we'll 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 be here. We'll be waiting. Yeah, oh you can't wait there forever. You gotta go home sometime, don't you? We got curfew. Yeah, we yeah, got no. Cur- we got curfew. No, no. You're not an essential employee. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Man, who am I talking to? Are you care you don't you don't think we're essential employees? We got a shop, mechanic shop, we sell cars. Are you Selling cars me? is not essential. People don't need to have a car. Greenhouse, greenhouse gases. <laughs> oh man, so I must be misinformed then. Damn. So, so you call me. You tell me you have the BMW. You want me to take down the the ad? Yeah. But I have the BMW, so you're lying already. What else no. are you lying about? Well, my name is probably not Charles, is it? I I, I didn't even get to catch your name. I, well, I said yes. I have the information. My name is Charles. Okay, Charles. Okay, Charles. So if I take down the car, the the ad, yeah. What what is that? What good is that for you? Well, I'm going to steal it again. And then well, you're going to have to put the ad up again. Oh, oh, and then probably pay again for the ad. Damn it! You paid for God, that ad? Yeah, I did. How much? They charged me. How much? I don't know, like five bucks. Oh, are you that broke? Yeah, yeah, and these times, yeah, yeah. yeah not doing very good uh-huh. with the shop, huh? You say you got a shop. You no, probably, you probably strip no, cars. No, it's, probably a chop shop. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's it's not mine. So I'm out. Of, I'm out of a job too. So I just put the ad on there. You know, this is my job. That's why I'm considered essential. I still steal shit while everyone's quarantined. Oh fuck! God damn, Charles. Me, 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 and you need to hook up. We need to hang out. I don't know. Just. We do. Get some can beer, you get, can you get rid of cars? Shit. Can you get rid of cars if I get them to you? I can. Yeah, I can. Because I don't know. I, know I don't I, know I, anything I, about VIN numbers and stuff like that. So I just yeah. I, what I do is I steal them and I drive around for like one or two days and then I leave them. That that's exactly that that that's the uh, yeah that's the plan. Yeah. Or, or or I mean, if they're Fords or whatever, if, if the engine is good or something expensive, I mean, you know, we will we'll we'll take out the engine. I don't. I don't mean to sound like a bigot or anything, but are you Hispanic? No, I'm not. Oh come on! Don't lie to me. I'm, I thought we were on a professional basis here. 
Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I'm not. Uh, um, why is that? Why yes? Are you are you are you Hispanic? Well, no, I want to I want to know what type of thief I'm partnering up with. Like, if it's in your blood, then I'm down. But if I got to start teaching you and everything, then I don't want anything to do with it. I'm not trying to get no fucking rookies on my team. Yeah, no, no, I am no rookie. That's for sure. But when we get to know each other some more, then uh, you know we'll get to know get to know each other. Oh, okay, like that sounded a little perverted there. The way you said that, like, but I like it the way you said. Get to know each other. Well, uh, hey, if, if if I mean, if I like you enough and you like me, then why not? Let's mess around. I don't no, know. And no we rubbers. Can still shit. No rubbers. No. I don't fuck around with rubbers. No. Yep. I want to yep. have some anal babies. Hey, yeah. Anyway, maybe I should take up the ad, huh? You, prob- you probably. Car, you I'd probably think. should. You probably should. Yeah. Well, I was just. I, I was. I was just doing management a favor. You know. Yeah, maybe I can like rub your bark and make the sap come out. The the bark. Oh, that's a new one. Yeah, I want to rub your bark. Hey. Do okay. You, let me ask what? you. Do you drive that BMW yeah. sometimes? No. No, I've never driven it. I don't know. I, I haven't driven it. It pulls to the left. Does it? It pulls to the left at 50. Damn. So I don't even want that piece of shit then. Yeah, I know. Like, when what it's pulling you- to the left, like, you gave me, you made, you made me steal a car that wasn't even tip top shape. I mean, you fucked me, man. You really fucked me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gave you, I gave you something that wasn't even good. Yeah, I don't know if it was being repaired or what it was, but this German engineering fucking sucks. Yeah, it does suck. What, what what else is wrong with the car? Maybe you can help me out. It doesn't get good gas mileage. Not for a BMW. No, it, it does. It's a, it's, it, it's a four cylinder. Yeah, it does get good. Not gas not mileage. as good as it should. Damn. The back seat isn't I don't big know, enough. Man. I don't know. I tried I, to I, fu- I, like I tried to fuck a hooker in the back seat, and it wasn't big enough. And she was a big girl. Damn. Charles, are you from San Antonio? I'm from, yeah, I'm from Tonio. Tonio. Yeah. My wife's sister wouldn't fit in that back seat. <laughs> yeah, my wife's sister either. Yeah, she fat? Yeah. Yeah. She at least got big titties on her to, like, compensate? Yeah, exactly. Like how like how big, like if, if she jumped up and down or swung to the left too quick and hit you in the face, would it give you a black eye? Yeah, it would. Oh, I love it. I love it. You Charles, know why? You know why? Because fat girls try harder. Charles, you want me to get off the phone and get, and get rid of that ad? Yeah, fuck that ad. Get rid of it. Okay. All right. What else are you into stealing? Let's let's go for it. Uh, go karts. Uh, I like to steal no. mopeds. Not not worth it. Not worth it. Uh, sometimes I get golf carts. Those are pretty good. Old people love that shit. I can resell them real easy. Um, sometimes I like to steal, uh, pregnant women and make them produce more babies. And then I milk their titties for milk and I sell okay. it. I sell it for a dollar an ounce and I have a pregnant, Damn. pregnant, pregnant titty farm milking process that I do. Awesome. It's good. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm about to eat. Charles, do you mind if I call you back? No, go ahead. Okay, g- g- uh, give me a good phone number or text me your number. Text oh. me a picture of yourself. I'll text you. All right, I'll text you. I'm going to text oh. you, and you can call right. me on I'll, that I'll, number. I'll, I'm not broke, man. I, I take incoming calls on that number, too. Okay, Charles, uh, I'm going to take the ad off when I finish eating, and then uh, we'll hang out. Okay. Okay. All right, brother. All right, I love you. Okay, love you, too. All right, I love you. Bye. Bye. All right. Oh. Hello. Hi, this yeah. is Charles. I'm calling from Groupon. I understand that you're having a little bit of an issue that you wanted uh, some help with. Hello? I don't mind. Hello, yes. You call, calling from Groupon? Yes, yeah, from Groupon. Uh, I understand that you had purchased the Groupon and that uh, because of the uh, virus, it is the location it's closed, and you were looking for a refund. No, 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 no. No. I didn't. I'm, I'm the owner. Um, no, I'm the owner of the business. Okay. And so what can I help so you with? I don't know who. 
Mm, I didn't call Groupon. I don't. I don't know where you find this phone number. Well, I found the, I found the phone number. Uh, it, well, it was uh, it was in the listing on Craigslist for uh, intimate hand jobs by Hispanic women, and so I was trying to uh, find out more about that, get some pricing. Oh my god! Mm, so, what type of know. price am I am I looking at here for the full package? Mm, well, maybe I should tell you what I'm looking for first. I'm looking for a Hispanic woman somewhere between the age of 24 and uh, 37, soft hands, medium speed, light on the touch. Do you do? You have, well, I mean, what's the price? What's the price going to cost me for that, Rose? Rose. Hello. Hello. This is Charles. I'm calling from Hello? DoorDash. I understand you have an issue. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm on the other line with you guys. Nobody picked up, but thank you for calling me. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Well, no, no, no. Is... That's I, I'm elevated support. I'm actually higher up. They actually were trying to patch us in, but I couldn't get through. Uh, so what they want is for me to speak with you. So you can hang up with them. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh. Um, two days ago, we ordered some food from Cheesecake Factory through DoorDash, and it said it would arrive at 9.15, but it never arrived, and I think my mom's credit card got charged for it, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and we were wondering why the food didn't get here. Well, from what I can see, uh, we actually had an issue with the app. Uh, hello? It, it, yes, hello? 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 Yes, can you hear me? Sir? Yes, Hello? Oh, no. Hello? Hi? Hello? Hi? Sir? Yes. Go ahead. Hello? Go ahead. God damn it, I'll turn around and call her back. <laughs> Stupid. She accidentally muted herself or something? I think so. Hello? Hi, I think we got disconnected. Yes, sir, we did. Yeah, I was um, able, I was anyway. able to hear you, but you couldn't hear me. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, um, so what, what had so, happened around that time, uh, our app, had uh, the servers had become overloaded, and the app uh, actually started to crash. Uh, so some orders were being placed uh, and, and were arriving at the locations that where you were ordering from. Uh, some some actually weren't, and then we were having issues with them actually being assigned to drivers uh, to actually bring them to you. So that's what we were running into yesterday, and it was nationwide. Um, no, it was two days ago. It was two days ago. Two days ago. Okay. Uh, let me look here real quick. I guess you wouldn't have been affected by this. Let's see here. Uh, Is that right, Mom? It's going Uh, oh, yeah, it was Friday. I, I see what night, happened. Friday night. Is uh, the the uh, you said it was a cheesecake factory? Yes, sir. Okay, the location closest to you had run out uh, of your orders. So what we had to do is we had to order from a location two hours away, and so they should be arriving uh, with your food at any time. No, sir. This was Friday. This right. Was Friday. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we were only able to locate one of our, uh, one of our bike delivery guys. So he was about two hours away and he's currently on the way with your, your order on bicycle. What do you mean he's on his way with bicycle? We we didn't even, it's only six o'clock, seven o'clock this time. Right. But what he, he had to go to a location two hours away. He had to bike two hours away, uh, to get your food. And then he has to bike two hours back. So he's on his way. It's just taking him a little bit longer. No, but we didn't order it for today. I know you ordered it, you ordered it Friday, so. and then it didn't show up. That's because he's on his way. He's on the way. What do you mean he's on his way? Well, he's biking from the location two hours away. We don't away. want it now, today. We don't want it today. Well, what had happened is he was on his way, and his front tire on his bike blew out, and he went head, head over the handles, and then he landed in a ditch. And so we'd have to come, they had the EMS come out 
and they had to repair him. They they went and they laid him down. And he had every time they tried to touch his wishbone, his nose went red, and he went. Aah! And so he's on his way. What do you mean he's on his way though? He's on his way. He got the cast on his arm, and they took the two fingers off of his left hand. But he's on the bike and he's on his yeah, way. Yeah, but I don't understand what you're saying, sir. Because I didn't. I don't want it. Today is Saturday morning. It, it's Saturday morning. No, no, no. It's Saturday night. Oh, I'm sorry. It's it's Saturday night. We ordered it to Thursday night. Yeah, well, no. It said right there uh, special instructions for the delivery driver that you didn't want the cheesecake cold, that you wanted it warm, so he needed to take his time. No, I didn't. I didn't write that. Oh, on the order. Oh, yeah. It's I'm looking at the order right here on the app. And it says, please deliver warm and stinky cheesecake. No, this, my name's Gilbert. Look, my last name's Gilbert. Yes. And uh, we live at 2145 Tarmigan Drive, number two. Yeah. And we what is lost more in Walnut Creek. And we ordered it two days ago Thursday. And if there was a problem, then... Oh, oh wait a minute. Two, you, ordered, you ordered it two days ago. Yes, sir. Oh, well, it's, then it's on time then. Actually, he's going to be early. No, two days he ordered ago. it yeah, two he, days ago. Yeah, two you, ordered days it, ago. you ordered it Friday, Thursday. and he's going to get it to you tonight? Yeah, he's early. No, we he's ordered early. it Thursday, sir. Sir, sir. Yes. We ordered it Thursday night for Thursday night. Hang on a second. Somebody just came into the office. Give me a moment. I'm talking to the lady you're supposed to be delivering to right now. Hang on, hang on just a second, ma'am. I'm going to get him on the other line. Um, let's see. Uh, his name is Dezer- Darzer. He's supposed to be delivering your, uh, your Darzer. Get, grab the phone here real quick. Get on the line with me. We got to explain to this lady what's going on. Hello. So Hello? you were supposed to uh, deliver you you're, st- are you still going to make it tonight to deliver the cheesecake to this, this young lady? Um, well, I, I might be able to, I, I've, I've no, so many painkillers. Okay, we don't want it. We don't want it. We ordered it for Thursday night. For Thursday, and there was no nothing about saying warm. We didn't even get on was, the application. I thought it was. I thought you ordered. It, I thought you ordered Friday. They want it no, next Thursday. Thursday. I said they want it next Thursday. No, I didn't want it next Thursday. I ordered it Thursday for yeah, Thursday. It, it says right here to pick up Thursday and deliver next Thursday. You wanted it left next out of the Thursday. fridge. Yep. No, no, no. That's not what it said. It was Thursday for Thursday night. We ordered it Thursday for Thursday night. You ordered Thursday night for, th- for next it Thursday night. At I 8 understand. o'clock. We ordered, we ordered it like 8 o'clock for Thursday night. Oh, at 8 oh, o'clock. Oh, okay, all right. So what you're going to need to do, Darcy, you need to get on your bike, and you need to pedal your ass over no, there because they still want it. No, we don't want it. it. We don't want uh, it. We don't want it. Do you have the forks? We don't they want wanted it. forks with their order. We don't I've want got- it. We don't want it, sir. I've got one of the sir. forks stuck in my past on my arm, and it hurts. We don't, we you don't, don't have both. You don't sir, have both of the forks. Forking? You don't have both of your forks. You really fucked me. Now you need to go back and get the forks. Oh, the, do- the doctor said that I shouldn't get on the bike after the accident. <laughs> you really fucked me. Yes, I did. And we, and we, and she hung up with the actual support that was helping her. <laughs> oh, I feel kind of bad. She didn't know what fucking day she ordered that. She might have ordered that tonight. She kept changing days. I ordered it Friday. It's Saturday right. morning. It's, no, it's not. <laughs> it says in the special instructions here that you wanted it uh, ordered Friday, but delivered Saturday. <laughs> She probably forgot to order it. <laughs> That's probably the case. Hello? Hi, is that Amy? Yes, sir. Hey, how are you doing? This is Charles. I'm calling from over here at DoorDash. I understand that you were having some issues signing up to be a dasher. Yeah, hi. How um, are hold you? on one second. Oh, please. sure, absolutely. No, I'm sorry. I was, I, um, okay, I'm, I'm back. Yeah, no, um, I'm having issues. So I signed up right and... I got an email saying that you guys want to do the background check, but when I, you probably read what I wrote to you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I read it. Yeah. Um, and so it's, it's when you were trying to go 
and check on the process of the background check? Right. Well, I was trying to attempt. Uh, I was trying to hit the link so that I could we could proceed with the background check. Oh, okay. but it so like I got the email saying, okay, so here we go. We're on step two. You know, it's time to confirm to do a background check. So I hit that in my email, and it takes me to the page, the error page on your guys's website. Okay. Um, let's see here. I can actually look and see what the uh, the process is on the background check because it looks like it's been. Uh, it's been started. Uh, let me take okay. a look here. Let me pull this up. Amy, uh, Amy Bauer, correct? Yeah. Okay, let me get this up here. Uh, oh, I see. It, it required an authorization. Uh, we had to. We have to have a human take a look at this. Uh, let me just pop it open real quick. Okay. Um, Ah, okay, yeah, there was there was a few red flags that we were going to have to uh, speak with you on the phone about. Uh, okay. Let's see. It, said, it says here that you were charged in uh, 2013 with assault. Is that correct? Assault? Um, maybe. I, I don't remember what... I have a few things there, um, to be honest, because I um, have cleaned up a lot since <laughs> birth few years now okay. so oh, yeah. so there has there probably there might be some things on there but i'm so glad that we got a chance to talk because then i'm able to maybe say tell you kind of oh, yeah, what yeah. the deal is um, there because i do have some things on there and i was worried about i'm not worried but i'm like uh they might not, they might not be okay with it because there are some things you know what i mean but for a couple of years i've been you know not <laughs> getting in trouble but yeah right. i have a couple of things on there i don't know what the assault situation is um, yeah, we just yeah. we just had so, a couple. I, I saw one uh, domestic abuse with an animal. Um, hmm, I have no idea what no. that is. No, nothing. Okay, hmm. well, some sometimes some uh, it, we end up with things that aren't even. Uh, I guess accurate on there, and that's why we we, we like to talk with people. Uh, right. We did see one on here. Right. Uh, there was, uh, um, I don't want to say prostitution, soliciting. Um, I don't think Soli- that's accurate. Solicitation? There's, there's, there's more of possession. possession. I'm, I was, I don't think I was ever charged with like soliciting or prostitution or assault or anything like that. I was more in trouble for possession and also evading. Evading. But that hasn't been an, an issue for two guys. I just celebrated two years clean mm-hmm. yesterday. Oh, or I'm sorry, on the first. Thank you. And I'm only telling you this because I know there's things on there. Mm -hmm. Um, And so just to kind of put it in perspective for you, because I understand that it's the red flags and probably. So how long, how long were you possessed for? Um, I think that that started. I'm trying to think of the year. I don't know exactly what year that was that I got the possession charge, but um. It was going on for about ten years, though that I about had some. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. But was it because it was it because you weren't going to church, and, and so you were possessed? Now, did they bring a preacher in or a rabbi, or how how did they um, how did they ward off the possession? Um, no, 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 I don't mean possessed. I don't mean possessed. I mean possession charge. Like, oh, with drugs. okay, yeah. I, I've never heard of that. Right. I, I, you know, somebody has been possessed before. I was rather interested. I was like, wow, oh, ten years, ten like, years wait, of possession. Um, no, no, I no, 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 no. Um, yeah, no, nothing, nothing like that. I'm just saying that I had a, a couple um, charges on there, such as, yeah, that. So no, nothing, nothing violent though. Nothing violent, no. Okay. okay, yeah, that that's all we're worried about. We just we just don't want uh any of our uh our dashers uh that, that have a violent a violent streak in them. Because uh, some customers can yeah. be can be rather rude. Uh and then we had this we had this one issue. Whew, uh this guy he we, we didn't know about it, but his his name uh on the streets we didn't know about this until after he was dashing for us. His name was Mad Hatter. And oh my, he he ended up stabbing three customers in one day. Oh oh my god! Yeah, I mean he didn't he didn't try to kill them like he he was stabbing them in the calf and stuff like that, so it couldn't be considered 
uh, attempted murder or anything like that. But, I mean, we can't condone that. Right. Oh, my God, that's so scary. That's yeah, he, he was getting the plastic uh, forks from, like, the restaurants, from Chinese restaurants, plastic forks, sporks, and he was stabbing them with them. Oh, my God. That's, um, yeah, I can, that's very scary. Yeah, so so that's what we have to try to... So you're trying to avoid... <laughs> yeah, we're trying to can, weed can, out yeah. violent, violent people. The crazy people, yeah. I get it. And that's why I was, I guess what I'm telling you, uh, you know... I was, so did you get an email so that they were about, sending out your activation kit? You know, I don't think I got that. Um, so I chatted with somebody, I you probably saw that, I chatted with this, mm-hmm. a lady named um, Angelica or something. Yeah, they got, um, they got weird that. names, our, our chat services in India. Oh, okay. So, I, you know, and it was a little bit more difficult that way because I, I explained to her and she's like, okay, well, it's a troubleshooting problem with your app. And then I when, I when I stopped chatting with her, it wasn't, it's not that because I'm trying to, I don't think she really understood or something, but, or maybe she did and that was kind of the best answer she had for me, but, yeah. um, yeah, so it's just there's some sort of, I don't know whether it's the reception here at my house um, that it's not allowing, but every time I go back into the email and then try to hit the link to go into it, it's just saying that, that error 404. Um, and then also I've tried to re-sign up, right, and start over, and then it and then it's telling me that the email and my phone number aren't matching up. So then I'm like, okay, well, now there's some sort of weird disconnection with the phone number and email or something. So it's kind of a little bit uh, of a mess. And I just want to make sure that the background check part gets started, but you said it was kind of already going, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was already going. Uh, and it's, it's almost completed. Uh, it's just, it has, okay. to, it has to check a few more systems and make sure that, uh, okay. that number one, you're not a terrorist. Uh, number two, that you're okay. not on, uh, any type of FBI wanted list. Uh, right. And okay. then what we have to have you do is you'll have to go down to a local clinic and you'll have to uh, submit to an STD test so we can make sure that there's, okay. there's no STDs um, just so we can keep the food safe. Do, do you believe you have any STDs? Okay. You think that's going to be an issue? No, no, I, I know that I don't. Okay. Yeah. And, then, and then there's just a yeah. short algebra test right after that. Okay. So. Well, that sounds good. Um yeah, sorry about the confusion earlier, but um, no so, but yeah, that's where I'm at, and um, you know, I hope that me being that forward with my situation. Oh yeah, is- no, no, I don't, see, I don't see a problem from anything that I see here. Now we we like we like okay. to give people uh, the opportunity to you know not necessarily a second chance, but you know, able to earn an income, especially with everything that's going on right now. Right, for sure. Yeah, and like I said, you know, it's not nothing that that is on there has anything to do with my current, you know, situation at all. So, right. um, but we'll, we'll just see, I guess we'll just let it play out and see kind of what yeah, happens. I would, I would but, say with the, I would say by Monday, uh, you should get an email, uh, let you know that that is cleared. And, uh, and then it takes about, awesome. about three days to get your, uh, your activation kit sent out and that's sent out through the postal service. Perfect. I don't know if you guys have my, um, Mailing address, but will you ask for it later? Yeah, yeah, because what it'll do is it'll say your your uh, your background check is cleared, and then it'll ask for your address uh, for the activation kit. Okay, awesome. So then we'll go cool. ahead and do that, and uh, I'll just I'll go ahead and clear these red flags. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you calling me. No problem, Amy. Is there anything else that I can help you out with? No, I think that's it. All right, great. I'm glad I was able to resolve right. that for you, and uh, you have yourself a great day, and we look forward to working with you. Awesome. Thank you so much. You too. Oh, wait. Can, I, can I ask you something real quick? Before, yeah. I mean, not related. Yeah. I got, I got, hang on. Let me turn this recording on. Uh, let's see. Let me turn that off. It's completed. Okay, on a personal note, uh, I have a side gig going on right now. Um, I, I don't know if, if you're interested or not. Um, are you lactating currently? Am I what? Lactating. No. Because I have uh, a farm that I have out here full of uh, women who are, were pregnant or currently pregnant that are producing milk. And I'm just looking to repopulate uh, my farm of titty, titty women that can produce milk. Um, no. No. Okay. Well, I was just, I was just wondering. 
Um, if you're menstruating, that will do also. Uh, blood is a very high seller. Um, no, sorry. No, no. Okay. No, not, that's fine. It's just, it has nothing to do with, with DoorDash. I just want to let you know that you, you're really fucking me here by not helping me out. But that's fine. That's fine. I cleared the red flags, and you should be on your way. Do you have a family member you would like to refer? Maybe a friend? Um, no, I don't. No. Okay. All right. I'll go ahead and disconnect then. And uh, I want I want to thank you again for reaching out to us to get this all taken care of. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You think she's questioning it now? Hello. Hi, how you doing? Calling from Planet Fitness. Understand that uh, Deborah was having some issues that she would like addressed. Issues with what? Uh, Planet Fitness. Oh, Planet Fitness. Yes. Uh, um, it was very hard. You can't get in touch with them except through email. Mm-hmm. And I was wondering when the um, March payment would be refunded since it was closed. It was uh, down in March. Right, right. I understand. Uh, from what we have here, let me just pull this up right here. You are a black card member, is that correct? Yes. All right. Let me pull up here. Let's see. I absolutely love Planet Fitness. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a shame right yeah. now. I, I, I'm with the understanding. I don't know why they shut the gyms down. Because people are trying to stay healthy. And you you take that ability away. Uh, I understand that this spreads, but if people can exercise with masks, they should be able to do so. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't know. I guess they're trying to... There's too many people that don't listen is the problem. Right. Because I know whenever I go into Planet Fitness, hardly anybody wipes something down. And yeah. it's, it's disgusting. It's like so lazy it is. that they can't wipe stuff down. And I'm thinking, um, I know I went to my son's gym whenever he went to JMU. It was the university. And he took me to his school's gym, and we worked out, and they actually had wet wipes that you pulled up. Mm -hmm. And they did, like, three machines, four machines, because they kept, like, they were super saturated. Yeah, they were still And I I was thinking, yeah, people are too lazy to spray and wipe. But if they had that, I think they might use it more. Mm -hmm. I really do, because it is easier. Yeah, well, they have some of these these independently owned chains. Or uh, of uh, locations there, and they try to cut corners wherever they can. Uh, I think they personally would exactly. save a, a lot more uh, money instead of you know every time they wipe down a machine uh, with the paper and the spray, and then you got to throw it away where you could do a couple machines with the wipes. I think so too, because honestly, I mean, because I'm a germaphobe anyway, but I, I mean, I'm I'm bad about it, but I'm not like ridiculous. I don't know if that makes sense, but mm. I, I do what you're supposed to, basically. But, yeah, you could use those wipes, and for me to say that, believe me, they have to look wet. Because I don't like whenever you spray something on and it doesn't look wet, you know? Right, right. <laughs> I want it to be nice, and it it really does do the job. I mean, it, it's great. If they did that, I mean, I think they'd save money, hey, If really. you can wipe your ass with them, you can wipe a couple machines down with them. <laughs> That's right. Uh, from what I see here... Uh, the company says what they're going to do is they're going to continue to charge the monthly rate, and then they're just going to credit you on the back end of the membership. So you'll get you'll get an additional uh, few months added on with no charge, but that's on the back end. Well, mine is nineteen ninety nine, and I've been with them now a couple years, right? So maybe two and a half years. So I really don't need that. Like I'm never going to stop. So. Right. That's um, really not going to benefit me. I might block them. Then yeah. and did tell you my see? Bank um, to let them well, did you see uh, also uh, because it's such hard times right now? You you remember the the yearly uh, the yearly dues? It's uh, forty dollars. Yeah. Yearly dues. That's gonna be that's gonna be tripled for the next year. So it'll be a hundred and twenty. Uh, it's usually only like. Thirty nine ninety nine. How much is it? Yeah, thirty nine ninety nine. Okay. The, yeah. Yeah, for the, yeah. the once a year membership, uh, like the maintenance and, and the dues there. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a hundred and twenty uh, now. So that what they're trying to do is trying to recoup some of this money that they've lost during this time. 
I don't understand though because there's there, we're actually getting uh, at Planet Fitness as a whole we're actually getting uh, thirty two billion dollars uh, for the bailout for the small business bailout. So they're not really well. Losing people a whole are greedy. Lot. Yeah. No, people are greedy. That's the problem. Usually, your answer to anything is money. Right, and these these machines. Uh, they, they don't even get them uh, directly from uh, from a retailer. Uh, they actually, what they do is they go down to the Compton swap meet and then they pick up a few of them. Uh, and they usually get them very cheap and they put in Chinese parts to fix them. So they're they're not even top of the line, really. That's why they're breaking all the time. Yeah, is this the um, um, Piss Consumer? No, no, this is Planet Fitness. Oh, okay, because it took me directly there, and I'm like, why did it take me there? I don't know. Oh, no. I started out with Planet Fitness thinking that that, and then all of a sudden I'm getting emails from the TISC consumer. Oh, <laughs> I'm yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nope, this is, with the word Planet Fitness, we are direct Planet Fitness. Uh, okay, I appreciate you calling I, I, me I, back. I, yeah, no Your problem. Your came up unknown. Oh, yeah, it's been, it's been doing that. All the lines are really congested right now because we're dealing with a lot of customer problems. Uh, from what I see here, also did did um, cause your location marked down that you did some damage at their location. Is that is that true? The what? That you damaged some property there at the location? No. Okay. Let's... Where did that come from? Well, I'm, I'm just reading. <laughs> I'm just reading right here because they're showing uh, they're showing a future charge. Uh, let's see. Oh, Wait a minute. This doesn't make sense. I see what's going on here. Okay. Uh, you, you know about the showers that are in the locker room. They, they have the, uh, one that's a handicap. It has the bench in the shower. I don't know because I never shower there. Ooh. I'm a germaphile. Okay. That, that's okay. That's weird. Cause that's where this it stems from. Uh, they, oh my God, I, I don't know how they would know this. Uh, you know, we have the individual showers right. in there. They have the handicap stall where there's a bench. So, like, if they're handicapped, it's a lot more room. They could sit down if they need to be so they can finish showering. Um, it said that, she, that, that one of the female employees was cleaning the locker room. And she heard moaning from the shower. And she pulled the curtain back. And you were sitting on on the bench. And apparently you had the shower head in hand. And you were spraying, no. spraying your, your genitalia. You know what? Uh, this is a this is a pre- this is one of those calls that aren't real. What do you mean? Well, I, I think you're fake because nobody calls and says that to somebody. And oh no, I'm just and, reading right here from the computer system. Uh, I was just I wondering what the are. future charge was. Yeah. So how much is the charge? Uh, it looks like they were just charging for a new shower head. It was uh, let's see, thirty five twenty nine. Oh, and let me guess, you want me to pay you right now. Oh, no, no. Uh, they put a freeze on that right now, charging any type of damage from the clubs. No, absolutely. You don't um, have to do it. You no don't have to do it now. Can... It's deferred. What What date did that supposedly happen on? Uh, let me look. This was February. Let's see here. February 29th. I wasn't even at the gym in February because I fell 20... off the wagon for a few months. Yeah, it says February 29th. <laughs> No, I wasn't even at the gym. My son's wedding was in December, Mm -hmm. and I was making so many cookies, and I fell off the wagon after his wedding, and I didn't go back to the gym. I still haven't gone back this year. Oh, And then they closed it right whenever I was going to go. Okay, so you have a cookie Yeah, I haven't been to the gym, so I'm not even. They scan your card, and Uh they would know if I was at the gym. Oh, yeah, they scan every every time you come in. Your phone or your card. Exactly. And they couldn't have scanned me because I wasn't there. And I know the manager very well there. She's a very good friend of mine. Okay. We uh, became friends for me going. So this is totally, don't know where you're coming from. Okay. It, well, it, it, mar- it, marked, on it marked on here as well from your account that you're tipping the scales at 350 pounds. <laughs> I'm in awesome shape, dude. <laughs> Uh, that's just what this says. I can and see. I can name? see the. I can see the pic. My name's what's Charles. Your name? My name's Charles, uh, and I can see from the Charles picture. Too. I mean, I can see the jowls on you, uh, Charles Redding. R e d d i n g. You know what? Yes. You know what? Um, I bet you any money. You think you have a big dick and big balls, don't you? You stroke them every day. My balls are bigger than my dick. 
Oh, wow. Then I, I would definitely go to the hospital for that. I don't, leave, you my, might have I don't leave my mother's basement because of it. Thank you for bringing it up. It's a real sore spot. <laughs> Hello? Hi, calling from Planet Fitness. I understand that you're having some trouble. I am. Okay. Uh, my name is Charles, and I'll be happy to assist you with that. Uh, what type of issues are you having currently? Okay, Charles. Um, th- my son, um, it's his account, uh-huh. but I I have power of attorney. Okay. And uh, get noise. You're going to call me <laughs> tonight. So I um, don't have the paperwork right here in front of me. Hold on. All right. Okay, hold on. Let me get sure. it. Take your time. Um, he was incarcerated last year. Okay. And um, in September. And there is – I'm trying to get the account closed, and they won't let me close it mm-hmm. um, because there's these charges on there, and it's making the – making an overdraft. Okay. He was incarcerated on 926, and there's a Planet Fitness fee of $10 okay. for 1017. And then there is a Planet Fitness Club fee on eleven one for thirty nine dollars. Uh-huh. Um, he's not coming out anytime soon. Is there any way we can get these um, cards off so that yeah. I can get this account yeah. closed? Yeah, let me let me go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, let's okay. see. Let me mark this in here. Member is incarcerated. Let me click onto the next screen. Uh, okay, it wants to know, all right, it wants to know, all right, I marked reason, incarcerated. Okay, it wants to know, uh, the charges for the incarceration. Um, that's private, and he's not going to be out anytime soon. Private, okay, let me just put, uh, undisclosed, um, okay. let's see here. Okay, what it says length of incarceration? Years. Okay. Uh, years. Okay. Years slash open ended. Let me do that. Okay. Go to the next screen. And we want to. Are we just pausing the membership, or are we just we want to cancel <laughs> oh, it all together? No. Yeah, cancel it. He's, he's not coming back. Okay. Yeah. Let me cancel. Uh, cancel. No, I'm clicking cancel. Ugh. These computers sometimes are just so slow. I don't want to. Oh, that's not, sus- not suspend. I want cancel. Cancel. Okay. All right. Got that. Go through cancel. Uh, outstanding charges. Hang on just a second. What do you mean outstanding charges? Um, okay, I got... I'm going to get the the uh, the charges that you had there refunded. You said it was causing an overdraft. Um, let me get that done. He did have some outstanding charges from that location, though, it looks like. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm, I'm looking into it right now. I'm just I'm clicking the... Uh, it's, um, okay, it says theft of equipment. So let me go into this further. Uh, t- t- okay, apparently they reviewed some video at the location, and he stole uh, two 30-pound dumbbells and two 45-pound what? dumbbells. Um, I don't know about that because I emptied his house uh-huh. and there wasn't anything there like that. Okay, you you didn't see anything like that. <laughs> they they said that they were able to go yeah. through and verify it through the video because they have a lot of cameras in there. Uh, let's see. Um, 
and it appears he broke the lunk alarm. He he threw something at the lunk alarm. Oh, it was just the light on the lunk alarm. It wasn't the actual. Okay, it wasn't the actual horn they have in there. Uh, let's see here. They can they can take care of that on their own. Let me mark that. I'm gonna dispute that. Cause that's just a light. So the dumbbells. Okay, and it looks like after he was in there at one time after a workout, and they had to call a plumber in. Uh, because he clogged the uh, shower drains with semen, and it was plugged up for some time. With semen? Uh, apparently, he must have been cleaning the pipes or something in there after a workout. Because um, after, after you work out, all the blood rushes from your head down to your extremities, so you're able to lift weights. Well, apparently, it must have given him an erection, and he had to pound it out in the shower, and he clogged our drains. Um, so it looks well, like I just the du- it looks like just the dumbbell and the plumber. Okay, I can't believe the plumber thing. I mean, come on. How many I, I'm, guys just, I'm just reading what's on here. A, yeah, I don't believe that. How many guys jack off in a shower and it, they don't have to call a plumber? I mean, come on. I, I'm, I'm sure it happens pretty frequently, but uh, this will be the first case I've I've heard of this. You ever had to call the plumber when you jack off in the shower? I don't jack off in the shower. No. Why would you? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, don't, yeah, understand I don't understand it. I don't understand it myself because you're. It's kind of counterproductive to what you're trying to accomplish, being in the shower itself. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Now, did, did, uh, has this ge- the gentleman? I know you have the power of the attorney. The gentleman behind you has he ever uh, uh, been a guest with uh, your son at this location? No. Okay. No. Uh, let's see here. Why is that? Well, no, I was, he would have been, uh, able to observe, uh, his habits while, not, not necessarily the shower thing, I'm just saying, uh, with the dumbbells and, and the equipment. Uh, let's see here. Well, I will tell you this, most of the time I was with him. You That's why I him. don't buy it. Okay, you were with him, so you didn't see any misuse of equipment, um, any, any Never. equipment that was, uh, I guess placed in gym bags. And taken off no. premise. Okay, and let's see. No. And at any time, did you witness him jacking off in the shower? Why would I be in the men's bathroom? Oh, they actually, that's that's a good point. So you wouldn't have been in there. Um, well, maybe you would have been. You you kind of sound like a floozy, so I thought I would ask. Uh, let me see here. Excuse me. What's that? No, I'm just looking What's for. Just... No, I'm saying I'm looking further into the account. Uh, give me a second. Uh, Look, I just want to close this account. Yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've got okay, the I account don't, closed. I don't appreciate what you, and I don't appreciate what you just called me. How dare you? What? I don't, I don't understand. What did I call you? You have respect for me, I'll tell you, or I'm going to turn you in. Oh. You don't call me names. I, I don't believe I called you. And I called you Susie? Did I call you the wrong name? No, you did not call me Susie. You oh. called me a floozy. Do we need to have it recorded? Well, everything is ever call me no. Everything is is recorded for quality and training purposes, of course. Great. So let's let them listen to you just calling me names. Well, now let's get well, the counsel. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, I'm, 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 I'm take. I'm take. Now I'm, you piss me off. The, bring bring the tone down, please, while we do this. Let's be professional. Uh, let's. Well, then, see. Oh, certainly, sir. Then don't call me names. Okay, I won't. I won't call you Susie anymore. I'm sorry. So let's you didn't look. call me Susie. You called me a floozy. No, absolutely, and you absolutely watch your not. Mouth. Absolutely not. Uh, let me take a look. No, that's exactly what. You, maybe you should go back and listen to what you said. Uh, I'm, I'm, you're hearing things, ma'am. Uh, so we have to recoup the equipment costs. Uh, let's. You know what? Excuse you're me. You're not going to recoup. No. Well, no. It, it wouldn't. Be, it wouldn't go against you, ma'am. It would just go on the card that was on file. Um, because I mean, it, it was your, it was no your son. Part. It was your son who who did it. We would never charge you for it. Uh, let's take a great. Look. Why didn't you do this when he did it? When who? Why did... didn't you guys bring up charge? This is a lie. Okay. Well, no, this they had they lie. had to look into it, ma'am. We don't want to go around accusing people uh, of different actions without actually having some evidence. Oh my uh, god! And they just they just concluded it. Were you in the shower with him? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. They concluded in January. Well, they concluded the investigation in January, and they're waiting for him to come back in. And unfortunately, he has been back in. Excuse now, wait, me. Sir. This happened when? No, no. The investigation was concluded in January. This happened 
Uh, let's see here. It looks like this happened December of 18. Great, because he wasn't even here. He, he wasn't where? At home? Good. He wasn't even in Arizona. Good job, guys. You have the wrong person. Okay. Well, I can I can definitely mark that down. That they said we have the wrong person, but they have a picture of him when he signed up, and we also have the video okay, evidence. Just shut, you know what? Just close the fucking account. I, I'm, waiting the, off, I'm waiting like, on the waiting on the computer. Now close the account. I, I'm waiting on the computer to, to tell me that it's closed, and uh, let's just oh, let's I'm just be for, come on, Floozy. Let's be professional. Uh, let's Excuse see. me. Let's see. Yeah, it's at about fifty five percent. <laughs> oh, she progressively got madder and madder. You didn't call her cunt, you just called her floozy, I called that's her all. floozy, like, that's one of the nicest insults I've ever called a woman on here. Actually, now I kind of want to call her back and, and ask for the cunt of the house. Do it. Hello, may I speak to the cunt of the house, please? To the what of the house? The cunt of the house. I beg your pardon, sir. What's your name? Oh, you're the cunt of the house. How are you? My name is Charles Redding. Charles Redding. Okay, we're bringing up charges against you, Charles. Excuse me for doing my job. Hello. Yeah, Yeah, hi. I'm calling. uh, Yeah, I'm calling from Uber. I understand that you're having some issues with uh, the wallet for Uber. You're calling from Uber? Yes, correct. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay, and what what was your uh, concern today? Well, I would like to... uh, I I need a refund because it's a cash wallet. I I didn't... I'm not sure even I... How did I put a $75 deposit? Mm -hmm. So I tried to take it back, and I just cannot do it. Oh. There's no cancellation, uh-huh. or there's no redeem, nothing. All right. Uh, let me see here. And what in what state is this uh, is this located? Florida. Florida. Okay. All right. I see, oh, okay. I see the account here. I got it pulled up. Uh, am I correct that you have a ride scheduled for tonight? In my life. Uh, well, we have a uh, on the app right now. We have a ride scheduled for you. Uh, your ride, your Uber, no, your Uber don't. ride should be outside in approximately fifteen minutes. No, not at all. Uh, it mm. looks like a long distance trip. It looks like you're going to uh, you're going to go to Atlanta. What? Yes, we have an Uber getting ready to take you to Atlanta. Uh, it's going to chew up all the seventy five dollars. They're taking you to Atlanta to help you find your English. Unbelievable. No. You're not going to Atlanta? No, not at all. Okay. Well, it shows I'm fi- not. It shows 15 minutes and it was a non-refundable ride. No. So if you don't if you don't go to Atlanta, then he gets to keep the money. How I don't know how to cancel that. No, there's no cancel. You're going to have to get in the car and go to Atlanta. Are you calling from where? From Uber? Uber, yes, yes. He he's gonna be pulling up fifteen minutes and he's gonna have a little geo metro that you'll have to get in and all your suitcases will have to be tied to the roof and you'll be going to Atlanta. Okay, you must be joking, right? This no, is absolutely no joke, ma'am. We have sense of humor I, I here at Uber, but think... I mean we don't lie about stuff like that. Okay, first of all, your your number is unknowing. Uh, yes, all the all the lines are congested right now with the customer service. Okay. okay, I um, I don't see any, I don't see any next coming trip. Yes, yes, fifteen fifteen minutes, and uh, they're going to be coming through. Yeah, uh, you requested a let's see here a compact car, so the Geo Metro, the Geo Metro will be coming. Okay, I got it. I got it. You see? How it? can I cancel that? Oh, you see it now. Good, good. Uh, well, it's a no cancel. It's a no cancellation because it's such a long trip. You know what? I I really don't believe you. This is a scam. What's a scam? I really don't. I'm gonna report this. I uh, need your number. 
Oh, sure, sure. Uh, my name is Charles Redding. And do you want my employee ID number? I believe you know this is eleven thirty, almost twelve o'clock. Yes, yes, and I'm, I'm I, I mean, when you schedule your flights is is totally up to you. Or I'm sorry, not your flights, your uh, your rides. I'm asking, how can I cancel that? I don't even see it on my end. Well, there's a no cancellation, ma'am. What are you talking about? Can- because you're going from Florida to uh, am- to Atlanta. It's a long trip, ma'am. So once you schedule that, there's no cancellation. The trip is going to be $185, which you've already paid 75 up front. Okay. So you have to get in the car. 15 minutes. Be ready for the guy. Geo Metro. This is really ridiculous. What's really ridiculous? ridiculous. Do you have someone in the house that speaks English? What do you mean? Somebody that speaks English. I don't speak English. Not as well as you think. You, I'm real. Yeah, let me have your number yeah. and your name. All right, my name is Charles Redding. That's C H A R L E S, and then there's a space, and then it is R E D D I N G. That spells Redding. My phone your number. Name? My phone number is eight hundred five nine three seven zero six nine. And would you like my employee ID number? Nine five three. Yes, eight hundred nine or uh, five nine three, seven zero six nine. Five. Hold on. Five nine three. Yeah, five nine three. And? It's eight hundred five nine three, seven zero six nine. Okay. And, and your and your employee ID number. My employee ID number is S is in Sam. P is in Paul, the number three, R is in Randy, M is in Michael, and that's my employee ID number. My employee ID number is Sperm. And do you know here is eleven forty? I'm sorry, what was that? It's eleven forty PM. And you guys are calling the customer at this time. Well, my, well ma- I, ma'am, act like you weren't going to be at home. I mean, come on. It's quarantine time. Oh, gee. This is unbelievable. I really don't believe that I'm getting this phone call from Uber. Okay, well, what's, what's unbelievable, ma'am? I've been here for 11 and a half years, and I've been promoted three, three or four times. I used to be the CEO until I had that sexual harassment scandal, and I was bumped back down to phones and customer service. Okay. And? Well, no, I mean, I mean, what? Are you trying to tell me I'm not doing my job well? Is that what you're trying to tell me? The way that you treat the customer is want to Hey, listen, bitch, do you want a supervisor? Because I don't have to deal with this. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. All right, you hold on to your cunt, li- your cunt lips, and I'll get you a supervisor. Uh, let's see here. I think Darzer's on the floor right now. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to get him on here, you, you old floozy. Yes, hello. Hello. Hello, madam. Hello? Yes, uh, I believe you've been talking to our employee, Charles. Um, do, you, do you have a complaint about him, or, or uh, is there anything we can help you, you with? You are the same person. This is unbelievable. I am not the same person. I have been working here since Elevan 40 at Ubar. Perhaps we can help you find your English. Did you perhaps lose it in the car? 
Hello? Calling from Uber. I understand that you have an issue with your account. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is it I can help you with? I got I got a little bit of the information that you're, you've been trying to close the account, uh, but they keep taking money from the account. I, I got a little confused there. Did, did you receive the letter? The letter. I don't believe I've gotten the letter. Oh, because I'm trying to... Uh, the, the bank sent me the, the information about the Uber... But I don't know how to. Okay, were you putting um, were you putting in a, a fraud claim with your bank? You were disputing the charges. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I understand where we're at now. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. I, I see what, I, see I what we did is we disputed their dispute. Hang on, ma'am. Let me let me get a uh, let me get somebody that's uh, that's more well trained in this area. Let me put them on the phone. Hang on a second. Okay. Uh, hello? Yeah. Uh, uh, you have problems? Problem with uh, with accounts? Yeah. Um, they, uh, they take the money? I don't know what's wrong because I haven't used Uber. And then it take, it, they take like $14.99. Um, uh, they took $14? Fuck, uh, fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah, fourteen dollars every is, is, is a lot. So it take they take every every month. Every month now I ha- I pay uh, already fifty nine dollars. Okay, but how the, much? How much? It, how much it take uh, take last? L- last time when the beginning. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the the month, but the bank pay for me. Uh, but four, 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 fourteen dollars? How many? Yeah, and they take fourteen dollars a month. Uh, every month they take fourteen dollars in the ninety-seven cents. Yeah, uh, let, let me see. Uh, I have the uh, information they sent me. Um, Today, not to. I don't know. It was today. I had it here. The from the bank. Yeah, but why they take uh, fourteen dollars? I just want to know why. They, they, I they keep, to. They keep taking the fourteen dollars. Um, I just want to find out the direct. Uh, phone number and I cannot get reach to them and I, I see here um, the transaction it was uh, the money uh, the why? what happened? Like zero, what zero, happened? what zero, happened? Zero, two, zero, uh, zero, three. No. it takes Fourteen dollars and ninety-nine cents to receive fucking, fucking your dollars. benefits from the this transaction. Like and then, uh, let me see. The thirteen zero three. Uh, the uh, the two thousand nineteen. Yeah. Oh, I see. I, I see right here. I uh, they charge you money. Uh, when when last time you do Uber ride? When last time you ride Uber? I haven't used Uber for a while, and the, I take my car. They, you know, they say it, they it, say it, last time last time you do Uber, uh, you were in the car in the back seat. Uh, you were wearing a skirt, uh, and you had no panties on. Uh, and you, oh my you, god! And you left a. Uh, a trail of uh, uh, vagina juice. Uh, hmm. No, 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 no. No. No, no, no. You cra- They're crazy. No, it no happen. What happened? No, 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 no. Mm-mm. You wear. You wear underwear. Oh my god! I, I, I do. Do I take it? To, why I talking to you? 
Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, you uh, you have you uh, you have panties on now. I no, I don't want to talk about that. But what so, uh, that's uh, maybe why they I charge. don't talk. That's why they charge because I don't talk. you uh, you take Uber without und underwear and underwear. Oh please. Uh, can you talk? Can you uh, maybe uh, I don't talk to the right person. Uh, you want to talk to a white a white person? Okay, hang hang on. Are you call customer service? I'm a white representative. How can I help you? Why represent that? I don't understand what they mean, a, a white uh, uh, person. Well, he said you wanted to talk to a to a white person. You were speaking to our Hispanic department, and they said now that you want to talk to talk to a white person. I, I assume it's because you wanted to get things actually done. You want you want things to move a little bit quicker. I got white privilege. I, I, I don't can, know I why I, I do. Uh, uh, who are you? Oh uh, well, my name is, my name is Henry. Thank you for asking my name. What is your name? I I don't know. I if I talking to the right person or oh, not. Oh no, ma'am. I can guarantee you, I, I'm I, a, I am a white person, and I'm the right person to be talking to. But why you from the you you I I'm originally, I I'm originally from Alabama, but I moved over here uh, to, to Seattle so I could work with Uber. I used to I used to work for McDonald's as a as a supervisor, and then Uber poached me, and they paid for all my moving expenses. And what they did, they moved me out here originally to Hollywood. Because me and my family, we found some black gold and some Texas tea, and we had uh, bought a, a McDonald's franchise. But me and my brother weren't getting along. Fucking fucking Je Jedediah, he's a real motherfucker. Hello. Is that Jim? Yeah. Jim. Uh, I don't know how yeah. to tell you this. Uh, I'm actually the bodyguard for Mr. Timberlake, and we don't like the way that you're harassing him, and we would ask you to stop. Oh, okay. Um, I, uh, I I apologized. And it's... Uh, I. Okay. I'm sorry, Jim? Huh? I, I need an audio recording of you saying that you're sorry. Yeah, I did. I apologized on Twitter. Okay, and, and what was the reasoning for wanting to fight him anyway? Uh, uh, never mind. Uh, I, I won't do it again. Well, I, I have a message from him that he'd like me to pass on to you. What's that? Uh, he says you're a pussy. Oh. Can you prove it? I don't think he can prove it over the phone, but then he would he shouldn't like to say it. it. Get, get get your fucking lawyer on the phone. My lawyer and Timberlake. I don't have to get my your lawyer. lawyer. Get Timberlake's lawyer, uh, sir. Do you know what time of the night it is? Do you think we have the lawyers on hand? We're not going to. What the up. fuck are you telling me? What time you called me, sir? Why don't you call, listen? Calm it the fuck down. I protect him from pussies like you every day of the week. Bring your gun. I don't have to carry a gun. I have lethal weapons. They're called my fists, sir. I know Croft Maga. Come use them on me. I know Croft Maga. West Grant. Shut up. You son of a bitch. Yeah, what's going to happen over there, Don't honey? you call me again. Honey, Either baby. you come and you prove your shit to me before God Almighty. Or you fuck. God's you a pussy, too. You kill me. God's a pussy, too. Kill me, motherfucker. Yeah? Is that what you wanted to end yeah, like that? come here. Are you are you emotionally Dude. unstable, motherfucker? You? What'd you call me? I said you're a motherfucker who's emotionally unstable. Dude, you called me a hypocrite. Huh? I live at 400 West I'm Grand Street. Macaulay. I'm a hypocrite. Yes, you are. Why are you sounding like you're getting aroused by this conversation? We're just two men talking. Dude, what's your lawyer's name? My lawyer's name is Roy Gerbel. Is what? Roy Gerbel. R O Y. Have him call me. My name is James. You have my cell number. Oh, yeah. I got everything. I got your cell. I've got your home phone number. I got your address. You're just a. My home phone number. I only have a cell, a cell phone. Limp wrist. Do you know where the fuck I live, motherfucker? God. You're hiding behind God. 
the name of the Lord, my God, is my shield. Jehovah rebuke you. Hey, don't be trying to rebuke me on this recorded line. I'm not afraid of your goddamn recorded line, you son of a bitch. I will have Justin come over there after me and you tussle, and he'll sing Bye 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 over your bodies you lay there crying. Yeah, I will rebuke your musculature in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Good night, sir. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. What do you want? Jim? I feel that we got off on on the on a wrong foot here. Yeah. I'd like to apologize. Do so. But I'm not gonna. I mean, I'd like to. But I haven't Why been, not? I haven't been Why, au- I haven't you? been authorized by Mr. Timberlake to offer any apologies at this time. Then why would you say you'd like to? Well, I would really like to. This is recorded? Yeah, for quality and training purposes. It's for our lawyers. Hallelujah. For our lawyers, because uh, we're going to sue you. We're, the the lawsuit's coming down the pipe. For what? Do you realize how much I make a year for sexual harassment? For sexual harassment, you've been sexually harassing Mr. Timberlake. Bullshit! You've been DMing him nudes and pictures of your genitals on Twitter. No, I haven't. Yes. What's the screen name? The screen name for who? Mr. Timberlake? I don't you already have that. No, you what's my screen name that what screen name is being used for that? Uh let me pull it up right here. Because I have to screen all me. I have to screen all that for you. Uh My see. genitals. I, I don't do that. Yeah, well hang on, hang on, hang on. I, you'd be hard pressed to find a picture of my genitals on the internet, dude. I don't do that. Chitata Vochen. You know what that means? Do you know Latin? Do I know Latin? It means guitar voice. Okay, and? So you admitted that this is your account. Yes, show me. Show, I want to see. Have this your picture, lawyer this bring picture me. right here. I've just popped up the DMs from you. It's a long list right here. It shows you holding a cross in one hand, and you have a man's penis in your other, and you have semen dripping from your lips. Send it to me. Uh, so I, can't, I can't commit, continue conversations on Twitter. Then why the, the hell are you telling me about? Come here, bud. Your penis is crooked. Bring your lawyer. What's that? Your penis is crooked. Uh, it's not my penis, dude. It looks like a leftover sausage from the Last Supper. Dude, that's sacrilege. Why don't you come front? I beg your pardon? Come front. Come front of me. Come come out. Come where? Come front of me. What? So if that's so sacrilege, why are you doing it? What are you saying? No, what are you saying? It's not my penis. I can... Am I circumcised not, prove it, prove or uncircumcised? It's not your penis. Send a penis picture to this account right now. Oh, no. Let's prove it in court with you, the, with you Dom, the uh, doctor. Let's see if it's my penis. Why don't you send me a picture of your butthole so I can do a butthole? Oh, no. No, no, no. I don't do that. Jim. Jim. I'm not going to send you a picture of my penis, pal. Jim, have you had sex outside of marriage, outside of wedlock? (sighs) Jesus Christ died for any sexual activity on my part. I confess them to the Pope, you son of a bitch. To which it pope? is written, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive them. Which pope? Which pope? Speaking of God. Which pope? What's that? Which pope? What's that? So, speak again. Which pope? Francis the First. That's not a good one. I don't believe in that guy. Neither do I. He won't speak to me. But he, I of course he won't so speak God to you. Would... Listen to you. You're crazy. You're pissing me off. That doesn't make me crazy. You're fucking crazy if I'm crazy because you're pissed off too, you son of a bitch and cocksucker and queer. Hey. You want a picture of my penis? Everybody's gay every once in a while. I live in Hollywood. I'll suck a dick to get ahead in life. Dude, do you own a gun? I do own one, yes, because I'm an outstanding citizen. Come use it on me, you son of a bitch. We'll take it to court. 
Okay, you want me to use You're it on you make... in court? No, I'll just I'll just bankrupt you in no, court. No, 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 no. Hey, Mr. Timberlake, no, 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 me and Mr. Timberlake are going to sue you, and we're going to take everything you have, and you're going to live on the streets. We're going to bankrupt you. <laughs> well, how much do I have, motherfucker? I don't know. You probably don't have two cents you could rub together right now. I have 45 cents. You want it, cocksucker? No. What am I going to buy with it? A pack of Bubblicious? <laughs> probably a brain better than the one you fucking already got, you mindless cocksucker. We're not, we're not in Thailand, sir. 45 cents is not going to get me a better brain. I don't know. I, I really want to know how this feud between this guy and fucking Justin Timberlake happened. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I, I don't. I, I just don't know. Like, what the fuck had to have happened in this guy's life where he has a beef with Justin fucking Timberlake? <laughs> like, d- did he cut in front of him at the fucking drugstore one time? Did he grab the last fucking toilet paper last week off the shelf? And just totally fuck this guy over so, like, he's using his hand to wipe right now? I mean, what what the hell is going on? Maybe Justin's been doing a lot of sinning, and this guy tried to save him, and Justin wouldn't listen. He tried to baptize him. You should ask him where on the doll that Justin Bieber touched him. Justin Timberlake, <laughs> not Bieber. I, 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 no, I, I, could, I could understand a fucking feud with Justin Bieber. I mean, I mean that shit's warranted. That guy's fucking insane. <laughs> Except, I, I, I have to imagine, every time that Justin Bieber's getting rammed in the ass, he's always singing, baby, 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 oh, like that. She, he's just like, yeah. Hello. Hey, is this, is this Christian's mom? Um, yes. Hi. Um, this is Charity. Oh, Charity. Okay, hi, how you doing? Uh, listen, could you ask him if he um, would consider taking down that posting about the car? What does he have up? Well, he, he, he's saying it was stolen by my girlfriend, Caitlin. And she didn't steal it. He gave it to her. Like, they, they did a barter, a barter. What are you... Who is this? Oh, my name is Charles. Okay, and, and your girlfriend is Caitlin. Uh, yeah, Caitlin Dills. Okay, and keep was, going. Well, no, I'm just saying they had a barter. They 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 traded services for the car, and now he's trying to say that it's stolen. And so we, I just would appreciate it if if it would just be taken down. Traded what services? She. See, I don't have a car, and we've been looking for one, and it's kind of hard to, to find one in my price range. She, they had sex, and then he gave her the car. Um, she was pretending to be his girlfriend. Well, she's my girl. Well, she's pretending to be mine, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm homosexual myself, uh, but I... I'm friends with her. I take her home on holidays, my birthday and stuff, so I could keep the act up. So, but she helps me out from time to time. Okay, yeah, she was pretending to be his girlfriend. Yeah, I, I mean, mean she, I've I mean, read everything fine. on his on his phone. She did. He didn't trade her, trade her the car for sex. I don't know who told you that. Well, she told me that. He called. She and you believe her. I, I mean, I... He just got his car work. He he only knew her for five days. He just got the car working. Literally, just got his... He's been trying to get his car for a year. I mean, she had the just keys. Just got it working I, so he could work. Yeah, she had the keys. I mean... She took... She took the keys from my basement. Oh. And the PlayStation. And his work boots. And my my son's PS3 controller. Yeah, the boots were for And me. $200 that was in the car. The boots were for you? Yeah. He just got those for his boss, for his job. He needed those for all summer. Yeah, I needed those for my job, too. I had to get some steel toes. But they didn't fit, so I threw them in, okay. I threw them in the dumpster. Okay. He didn't... Obviously, I was here. Yeah. He didn't give her the car. He called to talk to her. 
and the car was gone. The only reason his car was here is because instead of working for his tree service, he was mowing that day. Yeah. You don't want to know what, what me and him ended up doing. Like, I don't know if that's for our mother's ears. Excuse me? I sucked his toes. Excuse me? In the back of the car, we went to McDonald's, and I bought him one of those 10-piece nugget meals with the large strawberry shake, and we were sitting in the back and we were talking uh, because he wanted my opinion on her, like if she was trustworthy or not, and one thing to another, we smoked a marijuana cigarette, and I sucked his toes. Dude, he doesn't even eat chicken nuggets. No, he wanted the strawberry shake, and it was just cheaper for me to get that included with my meal. I ate the nuggets. Okay, this is a really, really gross conversation. I'm just saying, I should have told you because, you know, a mother shouldn't hear that information. But I just wanted to let you know that I had his big toe in my mouth, and, I don't know, he, he achieved orgasm. Okay, we just, all we want is the car back. I understand. Uh, but I'm going to be using it. What's his work schedule look like this week? Because I have to use it Monday, Thursday, and mm, I could probably do without Saturday. I got to do Sunday, though. Dude, all we, the car is a stole, it's stolen. I'm just saying we could work out like a ride share situation where I'll use like a community car. I'll use it some days. He'll use it some days. I'll, I'll any gas I use, I'll put it back in the tank. Is this her dad? Because it's really gross. If this is her father. Oh no, it's, it's not her father. I know stuff has happened. I know stuff has happened to her, and that's absolutely disgusting. Because obviously, you sound older. I mean, what are you trying to say that I did to my daughter? Do- oh shit. Um, I I I mean, I'm her. I'm the gay guy. Why do you stay away from her? What are you trying to say I did? Absolutely disgusting. Stay the hell. Why don't you just leave her alone? Why? She's my daughter. Okay. Just give the car back so it doesn't have to go any further. It's stolen. She asked for it. That's gross. So what are you? Are you single or? Shit. All right. Let me get a drink of water because this is going to be something else. Apparently Gordo says his dick's out and he's ready. All right. Julian felt himself being turned around. Bent down so that his face was level with... Gar... Garrox? Is that how you spell it? Garrox Ish Ishvara and Ducat's fingers were opening him, stretching him with his face in Garrox. He did not have to hide uh, the sorrow and the shame that shot across his expression. His body betrayed him, still hard after two orgasms. The drug pounding through him like Ducat's fingers, and he felt sick as his tongue lapped at Garak. The familiar taste soured by the sh- uh, by the show that he knew would not end until he ha- uh, was impaled on Ducat and Garak, or for Garak, to see and to hate. His body was maneuvered like a doll, turned again to sit on uh, Garak's chest. He schooled. <laughs> He schooled his face back into emptiness, into complacency. And he did not realize until he felt Garak's mouth close around his cock. What Ducat was planning... What what Ducat was, Ducat was planning... The thrust of Ducat into him before his uh, facade... And he sobbed. Sobbed at the shame and the horror and the violation of it as Ducat's hands held him still and he did not fight them for a, for a split second he opened his eyes and looked at Garak 
connecting with his lover's gaze and pouring his apology and his sorrow and his fear into the connection. But the haze was on Garak now. Uh, his mouth full of Julian. In a twisted uh, charade of normalcy, Garak blinked and Julian closed his eyes again. Or again. The tears running freely and Dukak turned his head and kissed him. And Dukak's tongue and his cock were both inside Julian, who was inside Garak. And <laughs> the pace of it ate, uh, ached and, uh, and it was wrong. All wrong. All wrong. Julian's body took over again, lost in the sensation and need, and his mind let in, lost in the pain and the, uh, or, oh, the revulsion, unwilling to take in any more of this as he wept and shouted and screamed himself into the orgasm. He did not, or into the orgasm he did not want. Duke had pulled him off, Garak, after and Julian tried to breathe to hold down the nausea rolling through him to keep the pretense of the drug even as Ducat held him like a lover as though he had any right you know I was going to kill you both but I changed my mind Ducat said uh, com conversationally <laughs> and Julian felt himself begin to shake with the pronouncement it was not enough to have a show. It was not enough to debase Julian. Uh, it was going to continue and continue, and he would be trapped between his lover and his enemy, hurting the one and satisfying the other for eternity. This was hell. He did not accept it. Julian sat up and slid off the bed, swaying slightly as the, uh, slightly as the stretch from Duquette ached between his legs. And where do you think you're going, you lovely creature? Creature? That was it. Ducat, Julian was nothing but a pet. A toy with which to play until he was bored. And a low light, the forgotten hypocrisy glinted on the metal floor. And Julian felt the ice return flushing the haze of the drugs from his veins in the arctic coldness of hatred and fury. Scaran, he said, kissing Ducat and laughing with a sing-song voice that made him sick. Gotta piss. Be right back. <laughs> he giggled for good measure, hating himself, hating Ducat, hating the sight of Garak, still chained to the bed his mouth dripping at the edges with Julian's cum, his eyes shining with defeat. Then that's the end of the story. He threw me for a loop, man. He got those weird names in that one. Whew. Got me on I that didn't, one. Wait. What? Knowing the characters. I didn't enjoy it, knowing the characters. That was not fun. I don't know if I was pronoun pronouncing them right, but God, apparently I wasn't. Because I see people that were <laughs> people that were fucking correcting me on the pronunciation. <laughs> I'm like, well, what are you gonna do? If I watch the show, maybe you know. <laughs>